I'm Karen Hamilton. Ammon is my married name. I was a camper in 1977 for five years. I was a counselor in training, which we call AIDS, in 82. And then I was a counselor in 85. My mother went here. Uh, my sister went here. My niece went here. And now I've had one daughter go through all of her seven years as a camper. And I have two more girls here now. I had one very, very difficult roommate. And she was difficult more because she had some odd habits and she wasn't particularly well liked by the other campers. So it made it very hard. You know, I was sort of responsible for drawing her in as her mm -hmm. roommate and picking her as a partner if she didn't have one. Again, at 10 years old, that's a big call when you're wanting to be with the cool kids. You know, I had that lesson at a very young age. It was more important for me to be empathetic to her. I was fairly patient and easygoing, so the director used to give me the difficult <laughs> I will say, for a couple of years there. All those experiences, I think, definitely made me into the person that I am. I think you really learn about having empathy for others, being kind to others, especially those that are different from you, because you have a roommate for seven weeks. You know, you can be nice to somebody for a week, but you've got to be real if you're living together for seven weeks. And, you know, let's face it, you don't always get along. You don't always end up with a roommate that, you know, is your favorite person. So how do you deal with that? Those are skills, again, for, for a 10, 11, 12-year-old girl to learn those skills, I think is just fantastic. Counselors help a lot navigating them through those relationships. And those are the girls that end up becoming counselors. And then, you know, they know how to teach each other. I like the idea of young women mentoring young girls as opposed to moms. I think it's important for them to have role models of women that are older than them to sort of guide them through.